what is up everybody welcome back to the channel guys um as you can see we're in this warehouse looking place but on the other side of that door there's something you want to see guys so while we were in the charlotte area we did arrange for a private tour of what could possibly be one of the most insane collections of fox bodies on the planet if you know if you know of something better than this which you're about to see so get some popcorn because you're not going to want to miss this if you know of something better than this Please send me an email and I'll catch up with you next week and we'll get that done. But uh, in the meantime, let's just take it all in. All right, guys, we are going to start way back in 1970 freaking nine. Absolutely freaking unbelievable. This pace car has 11 miles on it. As you can see, it's still in the wrapper. Everything is is brand new. Even the TRX wheels and tires. All the memorabilia, just freaking mind blowing. All of the 79 Indianapolis 500 memorabilia is right there. Just insane. And of course, the window sticker is on it. I'm just like, my mind is just like blown. This is insane. All right, boys, 84 GT350. And hold on, we gotta check the windshield. Okay, this one doesn't say how many miles on. I'm guessing super low, but there's the window sticker. Just, I mean, T-top car, obviously. And then, of course, all the memorabilia for the 20th anniversary. Just, poof. TRX wheels. Right next door. This is an 85, y'all. 85. And it has 1,100 miles on it. And hold on, I gotta show you the bag phone. I'm gonna very carefully open this door. There's the bag phone. As you can see, oh my god, it smells new. It smells new. Wow. Okay, we're gonna shut this door. That shut's nice, very nice. And of course, the original VR60 tires. 1100 miles, 85 LX 505 speed. Mind blowing. And then 86 GT, this car, I'm sorry, this, this is a high miler one here, guys. 37 original miles. 86 GT. 37. I mean, look at the 10 holes, guys. Goodyear VR, Goodyear VR60. Those are the original tires. I don't know how they still hold air, but they do. <laughs> Just, I mean, what do you say to this? T-top car, original, and this car was never dealer prepped. Look, still got all the stuff, premium speakers, T-roof glass. I'm gonna open this door very carefully so you guys can see this. Seats have never been unwrapped. <sighs> you guys, I'm telling you, this, you, you 11 miles. Just, Mind-blowing. Absolutely mind-blowing. I don't want to slam it too hard. Just amazing. And then this is a comp prep SVO, again, on VR50s. This car has 300 miles on it. Only 11 made with this option. Just too much. And then this 86 SVO has four miles on it. You can see brand new. Brand flipping new. Sunroof car. This car was never dealer prepped either. 
You can see this one's in the wrapper. It's on the shifter. It's on the e-brake. Smells new. There you go, guys. There's the Odo. Four miles. I wish you guys could smell this. It smells brand new. I mean, it is brand new, but it's like 35 years old, too. Let's shut this door. Whew. Okay, moving on. T-top. 86 GT, 325 miles. Mind blowing. Beautiful. All right, guys, so we're gonna kind of move into some of the newer stuff here. And uh, this car, just, again, I keep saying mind blowing, but I'm a little bit tore up right now. You'll have to forgive me. 89 GT, 275 original miles. <laughs> Unreal. I'm going to show you some of the memorabilia guys in here. I wanted to show you the cars first, but my God, just. This is just mind blowing. You look, look at these quarter glasses of basically never seen sun. I'm like afraid to touch them. <sighs> wow. 90 Celine. This is a seven up car to make it even more rare, but it's a 90 Celine. Uh, this one has 80 original miles. Old ball drive Paxton SN93 supercharger. How often do you see those anymore? But as you can see, the car is perfect. Brand new General XP 2000s. Just. Look at the date. PK number 165252 of 90. This is 90 number 10. Hold on, guys. You want to see some perfect leather? from 30 years ago there it is there's the stereo the pioneer stereo system in there guys i'm trying not to get too touchy feely with them but there's the pioneer stereo system that was a big option but if you just look at like the the leather on the steering wheel and like the seat bolsters i mean these it's, it's it's amazing. You you just don't see them in this condition. Got saline memorabilia from '90. Just freaking unreal. All right, and proper way to shut a Fox body door, especially if it's not yours, just touch the handle. <sighs> okay, moving on. Got a nice '93 special edition, 3,600 miles. Absolutely perfect. Original Michelin XGTs. Perfect bone stock, never touched. This is a 93 SSP. This car was never actually delivered. Uh, I believe it was supposed to be a S North Carolina patrol car, and it was never actually delivered. You can see the original sticker has never left. The windshield 630 of 93. Unreal. 347 original miles. You ever seen a perfect set of 10 holes? There they are. Brand new car. And they got some SSP stuff here. I mean, just yeah. amazing. Some more SSP memorabilia back here. Yeah, North Carolina Highway Patrol. Mind blowing. Now, this is a 93 Cobra, obviously. Uh, it's got 5,000 miles, 5,000 original miles on it. It does have the aftermarket wheels on it, but the stock ones are right there on the original uh, tires. I'm not 100% sure why he's got these on here, but again, the originals are there. 5,000 miles. Bone stock. Perfect condition. Amazing. Last but not least, boys, 93 Cobra R number two. Only 107 were made. I I thought the first five were kept back as demonstrator cars or test cars by Ford, but this is number two. 29 miles in the wrapper, never prepped, never anything. As you see, it's brand new. I'm not sure what this is. Okay, this is just this is just info on the 93 Cobra R. But just 
not only are the cars here, but all the memorabilia with, you know, with the cars are here. Again, guys, brand new. You can see all the markings on the windows. This is just mind-blowing. Sorry, I keep saying that. See, it's still all the markings from the factory. Build number two of 107, built 427 to 93. Just, I don't even know what to say. And then I did have to show you, these are for the teal car. 5,000 miles on those tires. Unreal. Alright guys, so I've tried to be, uh, I've tried to hold back a little bit of my enthusiasm, but, and you know, as you guys know, I'm, I'm a complete nut for these cars, and it's kind of hard to, to hide how excited I get sometimes, but to be able to see this collection and to see these cars in here is just, it, it's, it's amazing. It's absolutely unreal. You just cannot put into words seeing these cars that you dreamed about when you were in school, you know, and before you could drive and when you were riding your bike and your skateboard and you looked at stuff like this, it was just, it's just unreal seeing them like this. And this is a lot of the reason of why I do what I do is because, you know, these cars were very special to me and a lot of the people that I knew and hang out with and do know and hang out with. And um, ultimately, I want them to have the same legacy as cars like the 57 Chevys, the 55 Chevys, the old classic Vets and Chevelles. I want these cars to live on too. And seeing these here is amazing. Just amazing. Okay, guys, I had to show you this. And this is what Ford basically took around to different dealers and different trade shows and events back in 1987 to promote the brand new 87 EFI 50. Just <laughs> it's freaking beautiful. Freaking amazing. This is this is the engine from 87 to 93. And of course, this is the display that you know, it had all the specifications up here and they rolled it off the, the trailer and stuff right here. But this is just mind blowing. It's got everything on it, even the smog. And then, of course, they blocked off the bell housing. Fully dressed engine. Looks like they did a little polishing and stuff. But this is like, this is history. Does have injectors, engine harness, TFI module. It's all there. It's kind of shined it up, made it look pretty for events and trade shows and stuff.
All right, guys, so I hope you enjoyed this super, uh, super exclusive opportunity. I know I sure did to, to come in here and see this just absolutely unreal collection. And uh, yes, I know I'm talking quiet. I don't know why I'm talking quiet, but I'm talking quiet. I guess maybe I feel like uh, there's serenity going on in here. I don't know, but I'm telling you guys, this is just too much. Just, just seeing cars like this, an 85 LX. You can see Celines and Cobras in this kind of shape but to see a notchback just a, a standard lx or even a gt in this kind of shape is just amazing and then of course you don't see many of these 350s and the, and the pace cars in this kind of shape <sighs> just too much and then and the, mem the memorabilia guys is unreal all the dealership stuff the pins and knives and perfume and Mustang nail polish, like just stuff you've never in your life seen. It's unreal. Okay, Pepsodent, I don't, uh, okay, I've never seen Motocraft Denture Care. That's a new one for me. But motors, Motocraft vacuums, Ford Motocraft vacuums, watches, just, <laughs> <sighs> like you seriously don't know where to begin looking at this. All the brochures and stuff for the 80s and the 90s. Just mind blowing coffee cups and golf balls and jeez. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I did my very best to capture everything for you. But as you can see, there's just like you could spend an entire day in here and not catch it all. So in the meantime, if you like this video and your mind is blown too, please give me a big thumbs up. Make sure you smash the subscribe button. And I, I'm going to keep looking. So I'm going to put down the camera and enjoy this. Later.